Yo, how's it going everyone? This is Mitchell Mander here and welcome to another review of the Pokemon AMW Pokemon Master miniseries. Today, we're going to be covering episode 9, the final Team Rocket focus episode. Team Rocket are making a final stand in order to defeat Ash and steal his Pikachu. Were they successful in today's episode? And how was the episode overall? Well, before I get into the episode of review, you guys know the drill. If you like this type of content, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. It'd actually be pretty awesome if we do that. But anyways, I think we probably should start talking about this episode now. Now, the main premise here is that Team Rocket are basically making a final stand in order to take down Ash and Seal's Pikachu. It's actually pretty neat how they got their Pokemon back, so you'd think that, considering this is a continuation of Journeys, the series would just bring in the gotcha machine and then they'd get their Pokemon that way, but no. The gotcha machine is not present. Instead, a Deli Bird shows up from Team Rocket and gives not only gives Team Rocket their Pokemon, but also feeds them. Basically rejuvenates them. So they come up with a plan to take down Ash and steal his Pikachu. It's actually a pretty clever plan. So uh, let's uh, get into it. So Mime Jr. appears in front of Ash and the others and it attempts to gain some sympathy as they think that this Pokemon is running away from Team Rocket. So they want to help it out. Pikachu is obviously being smart here and is super suspicious of Mime Jr. Which he should be. And that's when Team Rocket shows up and they eventually get blasted off. However, that's actually part of their plan. So what Team Rocket did here is they left their Pokemon behind and each of them were just ambushing Ash and the others and someone would drop off and face off against these Pokemon, that being Brock and Misty. And I thought it was pretty neat, Brock actually brought his Louis Colo here, so that was cool. And Misty actually brought her Staryu in this episode. That was awesome. I've been waiting to see if Staryu would actually appear in this series, and yeah, we got to see Staryu again, so that's pretty cool. And eventually Ash and Pikachu themselves get separated as well, with Ash staying behind to take care of Team Rocket's Pokemon, with his Halucha and his Infernape, whereas Pikachu is tasked with protecting Mime Jr. Which obviously this was part of Team Rocket's plan, as they surround Pikachu, Mime Jr. betrays Pikachu, but Pikachu manages to narrowly avoid getting caught in a net, but he's still surrounded by a bunch of Team Rocket Pokemon. Latias happens to be in the area, and Latias signals to Ash that Pikachu's in danger, so Ash lets Infernape and Halucha take care of Team Rocket's Pokemon there. So he shows up, and they actually go to blast them. Just blast them with this big combined attack, which misses Ash, but it hits a nearby tree, and there's a slack off that's just hanging out, minding its own business, and it's about to fall and hit the, the ground super hard. Ash jumps in, saves it, but he's about to fall to the ground really hard as well. So it was about to be a lose-lose situation. That's when Latias shows up. Well, Latias was already there, I should say, but Latias intervenes and saves Ash and the slack off. Yeah, and when Team Rocket tried to intervene, yeah, Latias basically just yeets Team Rocket. Just grabs them with a psychic attack and just yeets it away. As Latias is actually uh, there for a reason. It seems like Latios has been captured, and Latias at this point, having observed Ash for, throughout all these episodes, has come to trust Ash and seeks out Ash for help. So Ash and the others agree to help out Latias. Meanwhile, Team Rocket, they've been blasted off. Their plan failed once again, become frustrated with one another, and they end up splitting up. Just all of them going separate ways as this episode comes to an end. Oh, and before I get on to the pros and cons section, we did get more information for the upcoming Pokemon series. We learned of four new characters that are part of Professor Freed's crew. We have Oreo, who has a Metagross as her Pokemon, partner Pokemon. Mardok, who has a Rockruff as his uh, partner Pokemon. Mori, with a Chansey. And then we have Landu, which we don't know what Pokemon he has, if he has any, but he's a Fisher. So that's pretty interesting. That's cool. They also have a ship, which I wish I could show here, but due to potential copyright stuff, I can't. So I'm just going to leave it out, but yeah, he has a pretty cool looking ship. Um, 
so far, I'm very interested in the new series. Um, I'm a little concerned because I'd like to see some characters from the Scarlet and Violet games, which we haven't seen any at this point, which is kind of weird. I'm really hoping that we get some actual game characters soon and it's not just all original characters because I kind of want to see some of the game characters at some point like Nimona or Arvin or Penny or just anybody like it's cool that we have these new characters and they all look unique and they're probably going to be really cool characters but I want to see some game characters eventually so hopefully they start showcasing that before the Amy B Pokemon Master miniseries comes to an end I know we only have two more weeks to go, and two more weeks of information dumping, so hopefully we get some game characters showing up. Just saying. So for today's episode, I thought it was a pretty good episode overall. I don't think it was as good as the last two episodes, personally, but I think it was still a pretty solid episode overall. I do have some issues that kind of go on towards the end of this episode. But overall, it was a fairly enjoyable episode. It was really cool to see a lot of Team Rocket's older Pokemon that we haven't seen in a very long time. I also like the fact that Jesse and James acknowledged their Pokemon that are no longer with them, that didn't go back to HQ, that they released, like Arbok, Weeping Bell, Weezing. You know, and obviously we also have the Alolan Pokemon that are in Alola, Mimikyu, Marini, but... I like the fact that they got acknowledged in the episode. I thought that was pretty nice. At least they got something. I would have liked them to come back, but I know that was asking for too much. So we kind of had to go with what we already had at HQ. So I'll take it. Now I have to say I like how Team Rocket's Pokemon came back to them. You'd think being after Journeys would be getting the Gacha Machine again. But that didn't happen. And I have to say that I'm glad with that decision because I don't like the gotcha machine. Most people don't like the gotcha machine. Maybe they realize that people don't like it, so they just removed it here and they got their Pokemon through a different means, which was Delibird, which I thought was for the best. Um, another thing I liked in this episode was how Team Rocket's plan was thought out because, let's be honest, they actually had a well-thought-out plan that pretty much would have worked if it wasn't for the fact that Ash had befriended a legendary Pokemon and it took them out because their plan practically was about to succeed because they were all split up they were basically dividing and conquering and it was about to work so I gotta give my kudos to Team Rocket they actually had a great final plan to get Pikachu that would have worked but unfortunately they had bad luck oh and I also like the fact that Ludicolo and Staryu came back Gotta give some props here. Obviously, Halucha and Infernape coming back was pretty nice as well, but seeing Staryu and Ludicolo was actually really neat. So I also give the episode kudos for that as well. That all being said, I don't think that this was a perfect episode by any means. Uh, for starters, I didn't like how Latias basically took Team Rocket out and then addressed its issues to Ash. It kind of felt very sudden in my opinion. I didn't like the fact that it kind of got resolved via Days Ex Machina. Literally, Latias felt like a plot device here where it was like, oh, I got my problem. Team Rocket, you get out of the way. I got to talk to Ash. And I have this issue that Ash needs to help me out with. You guys go away and leave the plot. I don't know about you guys, but I was not a big fan of that. I thought that was really silly. Like everything was going good and then just suddenly Team Rocket just gets yeeted off. And speaking of Team Rocket, they obviously split up at the end of this episode. They got angry with one another and they just split up because they're just fed up with one another and they're fed up with failing to catch Pikachu. So they split up. Now, if this were the way Team Rocket just ended things off here and they just leave and they just split up because of this, I'd be very unsatisfied with this ending. It's pretty clear to me that they're going to probably appear in the last episode and they're going to reconcile. And maybe they either leave Team Rocket, kind of like Cassie and Butch did. Maybe they reference that. Probably not. That's probably wishful thinking at this point. But maybe they reconcile. Maybe they just promise to just keep going after Ash and Pikachu for all eternity. Or they just quit Team Rocket. 
I just get the feeling that they're going to get together, they're going to make up, and then that'll be that for Team Rocket in the last episode. So, wasn't really a big fan with how things were handled towards the end of this episode when it comes to Team Rocket and Latias doing that. Alrighty, guys, that's all I got for today's review. So, overall, it's a solid episode for the most part. It kind of falls apart at the end. But I still enjoyed this episode overall. Enough to give it a 7 out of 10. So, guys, in the comment section down below, post your thoughts. What did you think of this episode? Did you love it? Did you hate it? I'd like to hear your thoughts either way. So post those comments in the comment section. <laughs> and subscribe to the channel. And like the video and all that good stuff. Anyways, guys, have a good day or night, Riviera, and I will see you all later. Bye.